Hello and welcome back to another uh, Swift tutorial. In this one we're going to convert um, integers to floating point numbers and floating point numbers to integers. And I already got my playground fired up and I called it converting numbers. You can call it whatever you like. Uh, from this point on I will always have my playground fired up. That way we don't waste time setting it up. Uh, anyway, why would we want to convert numbers? Well, we can't, for example, say we're adding uh, 5 to 5.0. We couldn't add those two because they're two different data types. One being an integer, the other being a floating point number. So we need to convert them so we can work together with them. So let's take a look at what happens when we add um, 5 to 5.0. And what will happen there? So let's see plus b so what we did was created a constant let a equal 5 let b equal 5.0 so this is an integer this is a floating point number and then we said let c uh, represent the total of a plus b which is an addition in swift we haven't talked about that it should be um, 10 or 10.0 however you want to look at it um, but we got an error over here and it's going to say binary operator plus or addition can't be applied to ints and doubles well okay so what happens if I want to add 5 to 5.0 I can do it on a piece of paper why can't I do it in a program well we gotta change the data type so the first one is say we want an integer returned to us so we'll change b to an integer so we do i capital I n t parentheses parentheses so we're changing it to an integer and we looked at this one before, I and T, and it says, hey, Swift, handle this integer um, based on the device and give me as many integer, uh, the size of the integer based on the memory. All right. So this one's kind of flexible. Let's Swift decide what type of integer it's going to use. All right. So what we're doing is we're converting B from a floating point number to an integer. So what it does is take off the, the decimal and the zero. It's no longer a fractional number and it returns to us 10. It added them together. All right. What happens if we want to change uh, the integer to a floating point number? So let's do uh, let d equal a plus b. So we'll look at this one more time and we're going to get an error once again and it says we can't add them together because they're uh, integers and doubles. Well this time we want to change the 5 to a floating point number so let's do uh, double Oops, I'll spell double. So you write double capital D with the parentheses around the A. All right. So now this changes five to five point zero, and it's going to return to us ten. But wait a second. Why is it returning to us ten if we ask for a floating point number? Well, actually, it is ten, and this is a little thing in Xcode. If you look over here on the right hand side, when you hover over that line, it has a little uh, eyeball. Click on the eyeball, and it will give it to you ten point zero. If I go up here and click on this eyeball, it gives me 10. So it's actually giving you back the proper answer. You just need to know to go look over there. Um, if I used, let's say, uh, if I did let E equal 5.5 plus 7.2 and hit return, it's going to actually show me the number over here because we actually have a decimal point number but since it's zero it's not going to show it to me so that's just a little xcode thing that uh, just remember to check uh, occasionally if you get an answer you're not expecting just click on the little eyeball and I'll give it to you um, alright so we convert it to a double now what happens if we want to convert uh, this to a float we don't want to be as uh, precise with our, float our floating point numbers and we want to use float so let's uh, take this out here because this is going to confuse us. Let's do a let uh, e equal uh, do float a plus b. Now we're going to get an error here, and you're maybe wondering why would I get an error if I'm if I'm changing this to a um, floating point number and this is a floating point number. Well, the reason is because we got float and we got a double. All right, we got more precise floating point number and a least precise floating point number and Swift's like yo I don't know which one do you want do you want least uh, 
precise or do you want a more precise number? Uh, I don't know. We can't interact together. So uh, this isn't going to work. As, as it says, you can't add a float and a double. All right. So how do we fix this? So let's do uh, let. Oh, it's not going to work unless we clear this um, error. So let's just uh, do it up here. Do float and then B. So we're converting the double to a floating point number, and we get a 10. All right. Um, now, like again, you click on eyeball 10.0. Now, we're not seeing the difference here because the double and float are, um, the precision doesn't need to be as precise because it's only 10.0. So if we change this to, oops, W, get that out of there, a larger floating point number, and you watch what happens over here, you're going to get uh, your, your double which is more precise, this number is going to be a lot larger versus your float, which is least precise, all right? So this is what the precision difference is over here. All right, so when would we use this in in uh, real life, like writing an app? Well, say you're taking the user's input. Sorry, I had to pause the video. I don't remember exactly where I was. Uh, I had a coughing attack. But let's uh, say a user... Uh, we have an app where user user can enter a number um, into our app, but we need it to be a floating point number. Um, now, there's ways to you know do it with the way they entered it into the app to convert it and stuff. But I'm just trying to make it as basic as possible so we have an understanding of when we would use this. So let's just uh, create a variable. So we'll do a var var uh, user input and we're just going to um, set up the data type as all right because we want it to be a floating point number so we're saying hey this we're we're initializing the variable here and we're saying it's going to be a type of double a floating point number um, so then we go user input is is equal to 5 and now we got 5 over here now the user input it uh, an integer and you're probably wondering, well, we said we wanted a floating point number. Well, it still works because now when the user input is equal to 5, it's actually converted to a floating point number, double, because we said expect double. Now, since we use a variable, if we use it, if the user input another number and we said uh, 6.523 and hit return, it's still going to work because it converted this to a 5. 0.0, a floating point number, still a floating point number. Now let's take a look at var user input 2 and say int is our number. All right, and if we do user input 2 is equal to 5.5, .5, what do you think is going to happen? Error, can't assign uh, double to an integer, all right? But up here, you can assign an integer to a double. Okay, so how do we handle something like that? Well, um, we can say user, let's change it up here because the error won't allow it to run any further. User input, we're going to say double. So when the user puts its input, 5.5, we now convert, whoops, now what? Oh, this should be int. Int, sorry, we're working with integers. I was looking up here. Um, now we convert this to an integer because we want an integer for user input two, and now we got a five. All right. So what we would do is when we take the user's input, uh, we put an int. And in real life, in an app, it's not going to look like int um, five point five. You wouldn't be able to have a user just inject it like five point five. It would be something like int. Uh, text field dot text something like that all right and then we're um, adding in the information from the text field in the app into our field so that's what it would look like and then we convert it to an integer uh, this is down the road we'll explain this more as we move down the road and um, but I just used it like this just to show you what was actually going on this was a 
end input of the user and this is what the code would actually look like. Anyway, um, if you have any questions about converting integers to floating point numbers or floating point numbers to integers, leave us a comment on YouTube or on our website at swifttutorial.com or swifttutorial online, I'm sorry, and we'll see you in the next one.